The Galaxy Tab S6 just got a major software update with Android 11 and One UI 3.1, bringing it in line with the rest of the recent Galaxy devices. And these are the top new features we're getting. If you have two Samsung devices with One UI 3.1, like a Samsung phone and a tablet, you can start working on one device and continue on the other, more specifically on Samsung Notes and Samsung Internet. Let's say you are on a web page on your phone and want to continue on the tablet. Just open the recent apps menu on the tablet and you will find the app icon on the side. Open it and you will continue where you left off. You can even copy a text from your phone and paste it on your tablet. Or also copy an image from a website on your phone and paste it on Samsung Notes on the tablet. For this to work, you need both devices to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network with Bluetooth enabled and head into the settings, advanced features and activate continue apps on other devices. The second feature is wireless DeX. It was on more recent Galaxy phones but now it's available on the tablet. Now you can use DeX on your TV screen wirelessly. You can either use an external keyboard and mouse and continue to use the tablet separately for other tasks and swipe down from the notification panel and use the tablet as a navigation pad. This brings the S6 tablet closer to a PC experience. Next is the new floating Samsung keyboard. Now from this icon you can set the keyboard to be floating here. Then you can move it around for easier access or when you don't want it to cover the whole display when typing. Another new keyboard feature is swiping with two fingers to undo or redo your typing actions. Let's say you typed a word or a sentence then you want to go back. You can swipe left with two fingers to do so or swipe right to bring back those words. Now to the fifth feature. Now when you open two or three apps in split screen mode and go back to the home screen, those apps will be still found on the same layout in recent apps menu, so you can quickly open them again. The next feature is the added media and device control on the top of the notification panel. Now you can access and control your SmartThings devices from here without opening the app, or select to control your Google Home devices too. Also, you can control your media like Spotify from this media button. Number 7 is creating widgets straight from the app icons. You tap and hold the icon, click widget and access the app's proposed widgets. Then you can click add to add it or drag and drop it into the home screen. Next is the new pop-up colors customization. When you go under the settings, notification, brief pop-up settings, then to color by keyword, you can set the notification to pop up with the color of your choice based on the notification title keyword. So the notification color will change based on the notification title. For example, for messages, the title would be the sender's name. So if you add that name as a keyword and assign a color for it, you will always receive the message from that specific person with that chosen color. Number nine are the new lock screen customizations. Now when you are on the lock screen, you can tap the clock to see a number of useful widgets to get quick information like weather, calendar events and media. Then you can tap the settings option to manage them like adding cards and reordering the existing ones. Last but not least is the new notification history. When you go under the settings menu, notifications, advanced settings, you can activate notification history. This way, in case you dismiss a notification by mistake, you can find it in the recently dismissed menu. So this was the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and sub if you did. And catch you guys in the next one.